everyone thank you all for stopping by the channel today and welcome back to this brand new video now as you have seen on the title and on the thumbnail in this video i'm going to be showing you three female outfits which are black white and red all together this is sort of like a outfit set and you guys asked me to do multiple outfits in one video so you can make some sets and combine them together and I know you guys love the female outfits, so that's why I'm bringing you three in one video. I'm going to show you step by step how to merge them, what the components are, and how to get everything as it is set on the thumbnail. So let's get straight started with this video. Now before we go into this, I do want to give a quick little note. This has been done using the Creator Outfit Transfer Glitch. And if you're not familiar with that, then... Um, you have to know then th that this glitch will wipe all of your current outfits on a female character and that you have to delete your second character in order to do this and that your main female character has to be in a slot number one of your character selection screen. So keep that in mind before you decide to make these outfits and do this glitch. Now if you are aware of that and still want to proceed then we're going to be starting off with the very first tab. So you want to make your way over to the GTA 5 application. From there, you want to go over to online and go into choose character. Now, as soon as you are there, you want to make sure that you go into an online session with your main female character. And as soon as you spawn online, make sure that you apply the outfit that you want to keep. So for me, I am wearing this checkerboard outfit with black cat suit pants. And I want to keep this one so I can save this after successfully completing the transfer glitch. So make sure that you do the same thing and after you've seen the yellow save icon we are going over into swap character to create a brand new second male character for our components. Now it doesn't matter what he looks like, just give it any type of appearance, give it any name if you want to, it's not necessary. And you just want to take this into any online session. Now once you're all spawned in we're going to be starting by creating the components. And as you can see, I have created them right here. I have the components for outfit number one, two, and three. For the second outfit, we have to create two outfit slots and the other ones are with one outfit slot created. So I'm gonna show you uh, the components for all of these outfits. So we're gonna start off with outfit number one, which is this one right here. Now for this one, you're starting off inside of the pants section. From here, you're going into the sports shorts and you're applying the tropical print running sport shorts. Now for tops, you want to go into the shirts and you're going to be applying the white tucked shirt. And for shoes, you are applying the pink plain high top sneakers. So then we're going into accessories, go into the ties and apply the red skinny tie. And for gloves, you're applying the light woodland tactical gloves. Now these are the components for outfit number one, so make sure that you save this on slot number one. And with outfit number one, I mean the one with the black bus chair, the black um, loungewear bottom, black and red sneakers, red bow tie. So save that on slot number one, and then for outfit number two, which is the white and red one, we are going to be creating this outfit first and then this outfit. And as you can see, they are both identical, but we're just changing the tops and we're putting on a necklace. So for this one, you're going to be changing your pants into these baby blue chino shorts. And then for tops, you are going into sport jackets and putting on the sea green puffer jackets. And underneath that, we're applying a business shirt, which is the ocean stripe shirt. Now the shoes will stay the same, so just simply the pink plain high tops. And we're again applying that red skinny tie and the light woodland tactical gloves. So now we are saving this on slot number two and then we're create, going to be creating another outfit which has a tucked polo shirt on it and a chain. So for the polo shirt, you are applying the LS Jardy Nero's dark tucked polo shirt. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And then for the change, you're applying the gold magnetics necklace. Now make sure that you still have all of the other items applied. So the jacket, the pants, the shoes and the gloves. And then you can save this on slot number three. Now for the last outfit, which are the components for outfit number three. This one is also a very easy one. So we're going to start off inside of the pants and you're applying the SN swim shorts. And then for tops, we have a jacket and business shirt combination. So you're applying the moss long suit 
and then underneath that you're going into business shirts and you're applying the red blazer shirt. Now again the shoes will stay the same and we are applying these gloves on them and then you are all set and good to go and you can save this on slot number four. So these are the components for the three female outfits and what you can do right now is transfer them over to your female character and then I'm going to be showing you step by step how to merge the outfits together and get your set ready. So the full link to the transfer glitch is of course always in the description box down below so if you do not know how it works you can check that out and then I'll see you guys back in a minute. Alright, so I'm back here on my female after completing the transfer glitch and first things first you're going to be saving your current outfit of course because you do not want to lose this one. I suggest to save it a little bit at the bottom so it is not in the way of the merging process. So I just saved it on slot number 10 and then it is safe and secure right there. So right now we're going to start off by merging outfit number 1, then I'm showing you 2 and then 3, so in the order that we saved it. So we have to apply a couple of items before we can merge this together to create the full outfit. So on your female, make sure that you go into the tops. From here you want to go into the loungewear and you're applying the black loungewear. So this one right here on screen, you can also choose a different one if you scroll to the loungewear. I first of all wanted to do this fame or shame red stars one, but I found that a little bit too red for this look. So a little bit too much, I wanted to keep it plain and simple. So that's why I went with the black silk robe. Now for shoes, we're going into the arena wash shoes and we are using these black and red light up sneakers. And for gloves, I just applied these black um, biker gloves with the open hand parts. You can also apply different gloves if you want to. It doesn't have to be the exact same ones as me. So then you're all set to go and you can make your way over to the Rockstar Created Versus job called Crooked Cut, which is the job the, that we are using to merge all of the outfits together. So make your way over to that job. It doesn't matter if you host it or if you join it from somebody else, but make sure the clothing has been set to player owned. And once you have this, confirm settings and invite a bunch of players and wait for this mission to simply load up. Now on the outfit selection screen, we're scrolling over to owned outfit and you want to click once to the right to merge the very first outfit and this is what it should look like. Now the invisible parts will not stick, we will get our normal shoulders back. So just hit ready to play and as always, take it into the mission and then apply your rebreather or earpiece, quit the mission and then your first outfit is done. So now for the second outfit, um, we also have to apply some items, but first of all, make sure that you delete the outfit slot for outfit number one. And then you can save this one, which you came out of Cooked Cup with, again, at the bottom of your outfits list, so it is not in the way. So the second outfit, which is the white and the red one, for that, we're going back into the tops, we're going into the bikinis, and we're applying a red bikini top, because that is the one that we are merging for the second outfit. Now for accessories, we are applying some white cotton gloves. You can also do the white surgical gloves or the new armored pair of gloves. And we are changing the shoes into the white and red um, light up sneakers, which are also from the Arena Wars shoes. Now again, we can go back into Crooked Cop and merge this all together. So I'm just gonna skip forward a bit. So on the player owned screen, we're going to be scrolling two times to the right. So first of all, you should see the red bow tie and then you should see the white ripped shirt glitching through it and this is what it should look like. Now I think out of the three, this is my favorite one. I really like it. So yeah, tell me what your favorite is in the comments down below. I had a really busy Crooked Cop right here, as you can see. Thank you all so much for accepting my invites to Crooked Cop and helping me out with merging my outfits and also, of course, you guys merging your outfits. I see a lot of mine coming through and I really, really like to see that. So thank you all so much. If you see me online and catch an invite for Crooked Cop, you can accept it and you get a chance to be in this video. But anyways, as soon as you load in, again, apply your breather or your earpiece and quit this mission. So that will be the second outfit. So again, you can simply delete the outfit slots and then we're going to be merging the last one, number three. So save this at the bottom again. And for number three, we also have to apply some items before we merge it together. 
So right uh, now we have to go back into the tops and we're going to be putting on the red busture top. And for shoes we are again using the black and red light up sneakers. Now for gloves, I decided to apply a different pair of black gloves, not the same one as outfit number one. But again, this is completely up to you. It doesn't have to be the same one as me. So again, we are in Crooked Cup, player owned clothing, everything all sets. And on the outfit selection screen, we're scrolling back to owned outfits and going once to the right to merge outfit number three. And this is what she looks like. So right here we have a black ripped t-shirt and some black leggings, which is a very basic but cool glitched female outfit. I also really like this one. It's very plain and simple, but still um, really good for like the female character. So again, ready to play, apply your breather, quit the mission, and then you are good to go. So now we have basically merged all of the outfits together and what you can do right now is finish them off in the style that you want. So here I have a little screenshot that I'll post on my Instagram on Twitter. And as you can see on the first outfit I applied a black bulletproof helmet and I did that using the telescope glitch or else the bow tie spawned off. For the second outfit, I applied this white and red uh, mask. This is like a gator mask, and I also did that with the telescope glitch. And for the last one, I left the repeater on and I just applied a red backwards face cap. Now I also put on this Halloween face um, paint and some white contacts to finish off the looks. And then this is um, what they all look like. So I hope you guys like this video. Please leave a thumbs up if you like these outfits and if it worked for you, of course, subscribe and turn on notifications to get informed with the latest videos. And I hope to see you back in the next one. Bye guys!